Hey guys, what's going on? It's Serge here with the iPhone chips. We're looking at a um, CDH we call Belt Free. Um, this basically lets you install uh, the native applications on the iPhone, uh, which are not available on the iPad. So those are clock, calculator, compass, voice memo, stock, weather apps, um, etc. etc. So let's go ahead and look at that. So here we have all my apps, uh, the new newly installed apps by this week. Uh, calculator, clock, weather, compass, stocks. Also do have voice memos. So let me just go ahead and drag the voice memos to the second page. And I also do want to note that these applications act just like any other stock applications. You can't delete them like you do with your downloaded apps. Um, but uh, anyways, let's take a look at calculator first. Um, so as you can tell, this is the interface. It just works as any iPhone app blown up to the iPad. So you have 1x, 2x, and um, you know, it works great in portrait mode as well. And you can just, you know, calculate stuff with this. So, let's see, 70 into 4, 5, 2, 6, 9, 3. And there's the answer. So, um, calculator, really nice. Next is clock. Um, clock works really good. You have world clock mode over there, um, in which you see the time of your current location, uh, which is Singapore. You can add a new clock. Um, let's say Canada, maybe. Uh, so, let's see. Canada, and there's a the time. Um, in Canada and things like that so that's pretty awesome you could delete it like so um, you have alarm mode and uh, you could pretty much set alarm so I can add an alarm hit save and there's the alarm yeah stopwatch and go ahead and reset to start and there is the stopwatch you have lap you know now, overall it's just really nicely ported to the iPad. There's a timer, you can, you know, basically just start the timer. I'm just gonna cancel that and close that. And the next is weather. And weather just works like a normal uh, iPhone App Store app installed on the iPad. Um, you have local weather and, you know, you can just basically select the location you know just as you would expect it running on the iPhone it just works like that and it is pretty awesome so that's weather next is voice memos and um, voice memos I'm not really happy with the port of this thing on the iPad as you can tell the mic is somewhere up on the screen it's on the top left of the screen and the um, recording controls and you know the stuffs are at the bottom left screen um, which I think is a little bit disappointing I guess you could say it's not really ported properly on the iPad other than that um, all the applications are really good and I totally do give um, both fry a try um, so you know go ahead and give it a try it doesn't really hurt just a free CDI tweak and uh, pretty much it. Yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.